We have big data, we have information, but how do you distill that down to something significant so we can then act upon it? I have an MBA, and, but yeah, IMPN brings different things so we can think differently. <laughs> the IMPN was very helpful. The Lancaster model I did in September was a real life-changing process for me. The IMPM is an executive master's program that focuses on your work context and as a part of the IMPM we prepare you for the most senior responsibilities in your organisation. We also feature the importance of management development for organisational impact and this is one of the key ways in which we're different from other programmes. So the participants on the IMPM are really diverse. They have a wealth of experience, they come from all continents and a range of sectors and they bring that experience to the classroom. I'm an economist and I'm, nowadays I'm a head of the Department of Capital Goods, Defense and Mobility at BNDES in Brazil, the Brazilian Development Bank. So the company I work for is a multinational aerospace and automotive engineering services company. We are into mechanical and software engineering spread across 20 countries and in this organization I primarily play a role of managing HR for the India entity. I chose the IMPM because I was looking for a managerial program which uh, provide me the opportunity to exchange with a myriad of people from various backgrounds around the world and uh, when comparing the IMPM with a normal MBA the IMPM seemed to be the better opportunity in terms of friendly consulting and exchange at to managerial level. The IMPM is an authentically international program. Each of the mindsets uh, takes place in a different location around the world and the participants travel to five different locations and five different leading business schools. We have experienced managers in the program and rather than focusing on the disciplines per se as one might in an MBA program, we build those disciplines into the mindsets. So for example, we might focus on financial analysis or strategy or organizational structure, organizational behavior, negotiation as part of the analytic mindset. But we insist that the participants play in the classroom with how they're going to apply that back in the workplace and how they're going to bring it forward to create the impact that we hope they're going to create during and after the program. One of the things about IMPM is it's not cut up into functional silos and so participants are learning different lenses of, of looking at work, looking at um, their organisations, looking at themselves and we call those mindsets. The first one is the reflective mindset, the second one is the analytical mindset, the third one is the collaborative mindset and then we have the action mindset and finally the worldly mindset. Each of those is in a different location um, and each of those is run by one of the business schools in the partnership. So we start at Lancaster University with the reflective mindset and this is a focus on self. The reflective manager knows that knowledge is not enough. It's not about knowing more things. It's quite easy to get knowledge these days. It's about knowing and the challenge that managers face is about the translation of the latest knowledge into your organizational context and your management work for effective action. The opportunity of reflecting with a lot of people from various backgrounds and places around the world was unique. It helps me to embrace new culture, to understand new managerial style, and also to learn from, from people with large experience, work experience and managerial experience than me. And that was perfect. I'm the model director of the action mindset of the IMPM. Uh, this model takes place in Brazil. It takes place exactly in Rio. The action mindset is very much on change and continuity. So it means that most of the time we're not talking about just uh, making better management or making better organizations, but also to make uh, better societies, better countries, a better world in general which is, of course, um, sometimes very much ambitious, but we all know that management nowadays uh, has to be. The highlight of the five modules for me was the Brazil module. 
we had a chance to visit the leading bank in Brazil and those people were our classmates. So they really gave us insights of the challenges they were having. And you got to realize this isn't what a bank traditionally has. They have a social element. They had political crises and they had to manage this in the most toughest of times. So we really had insight as to what they needed to do. We offered some suggestions. This all got incorporated together in a plan and it actually was instituted. That was just fascinating to see that. My role is to work alongside all of the participants, both individually and collectively, to help them to stitch together their learning journey. And that can be also about how they take the learning back to their work and how they make a difference back in the workplace. We call that impact. And for every individual um, participant, impact will be different. So there's impact at the level of the individual, there's impact at the level of the teams around the individuals, there's impact at the organisation level, and in some cases, beyond the organisation in societal level. It was useful for me that others from my company were involved in the program, and they brought back these lessons learned, and we applied them. And it really made the organization refocused in what we needed to do to meet competition, to meet all the things that were happening to us. Bank has been sending uh, lots of our executives to IMPM. Then now we are doing a mini IMPM inside of our company so we can go uh, put more people, more middle management, I think uh, mostly, try to really make the impact that we want to do with this different way of thinking. We like to extend beyond the classroom to that which surrounds us when we're in a particular module and in a particular location. For example, we're here at the Avmor and we're in this incredible room filled with artistic neckties and we're viewing a collection of 400 some odd pieces that depict exactly the same building. And the purpose of this is first of all to extend the learning outside the classroom. We ask people to come together in pairs or trios to talk about what they've seen, which paintings have struck the most, and then to reflect on that about their own way of seeing and how their own lenses affect the way they see the world and the way they see others. So the kinds of innovations that we've developed over 20 years are simple ones and yet really profound ones. Friendly consulting is, is one of the innovations that we have on the program and this is, this is a way of inquiring into the kind of challenges that senior managers face. There are times when we put aside time for people to have a deep dive into their problems and work with a group to really tease out what they might want to do and we call that friendly consulting and it's very effective to have a group of people working with you who come probably from other industries other kinds of organizations so friendly consulting can uh, often help participants to reframe their issues, see it in new ways, applying different mindsets, different lenses to an old problem that they may have been stuck with, but it will enable them to um, loosen that problem and make some progress with it. Part of my role as cycle director is to work with both the module directors and the tutors to support the participants. The tutors work locally with the participants. Tutorial groups might typically be between two and four participants working very closely to um, reflect back on what they've learnt and how they're going to apply that learning. They support each other and the tutor supports that group to apply the learning. The availability of a tutor is quite good in terms of two aspects. Number one is they are able to bridge the gap between the theory and the real life examples from the industry which I was a bit skeptical about initially and when I realized that I was interacting with the tutors and he was able to give me real examples from the organizations I have either heard of or you know we compete with it made a lot of sense and also personally I felt they were a perfect bridge between what I learned in the class versus what's relevant to the country and economic system I'm probably you know working in. It was important for me to take the program to continue to be a lifelong learner there's so many things happening in the world. The complexity, it takes time to reflect, it takes time to digest and really understand where the world's heading. And this program gives you tremendous insights to the five modules to really do that.